Roblox has over 380 million active users every month, and some of those people get interested in making their very own game. And if you're watching this video, chances are that you want to make your own game as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add spawn points that players can spawn at in your Roblox game. I'm going to show you three different types of spawn points that you can use that best suits your type of game. The first type is the basic spawn point. So open up your place which you can create by downloading Roblox Studio and starting up a brand new one. Then once you're in, right click on the workspace and select insert object and the spawn location. Then a spawn block will appear and you can move it wherever you'd like in your game. Once you put it in a spot that you're happy with, press play to test it out and see if it works the way you intended. You can also make the spawn point invisible by going into properties and change the value of transparency to 1 and deleting the decal in the explorer that is attached to the spawn location. So now it will look like this. And if you don't want it to move around or accidentally reposition itself somehow, then set anchor to be true, which is automatically on anyways. And I can't really think of a situation where it would be off. Now if you want spawn points that will spawn certain players from a team, like hide and seek from Squid Game, we will move on to the second type of spawn points, the team spawn points where first you have to go into the explorer and find the teams folder and click the plus and insert an object this will create a team service in your game you can rename it in the properties tab to whatever you want the first team to be i'll make this one hiders then you can also set the team color as well i'm going to make this one red and turn on or off auto assignable if you want to make a script to assign the teams a different way i will leave it set on true then we will make another team object and repeat the steps rename this to whatever you want the second team to be i'll make this one seekers and i'll make the color to blue and by the way you can make as many teams as you'd like now that we have the team set up we will have to make the spawn points for each of the teams so we will insert an object in the workspace and create a spawn location we will then set this one to the first team color which is red and then make another one and set it to blue now when we spawn whichever team we put auto assignable to true we will spawn in that team color and then spawn in the corresponding spawn point but if you want to build an obby with checkpoints that will change the player's spawn point, well then now we have to move on to the third type, which is the checkpoint spawn points. But before I show you how to make that, let me just say 99.9% .9 of my viewers are not subscribed, and I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so it would mean the world if you hit the subscribe button best part is that it's absolutely free. So to create the checkpoints, first we will create a spawn location by inserting the object in this workspace. Once that is done, we will create a script in the server script service that will run when the player is playing the game, and it tracks what checkpoint the player touches and changes the player's spawn point to that checkpoint. So you can pause the video and copy the code I have right here. Once you are done with that script, rename all the spawn locations to checkpoint 1, checkpoint 2, checkpoint 3, and so on. It honestly depends on how many checkpoints you want. Now just move them into the positions you'd like and press play and now we can test it and see if it works. So if we respawn right now, we will spawn at the first checkpoint. And if we step on the second checkpoint and then respawn, we will spawn at the second checkpoint. And yeah, that's about it. I hope this video provided some sort of solution to the problems you may be having. I'll be making a ton more videos soon, so comment down below on any other topics you may want me to cover. And if you'd like to support me further, you could play my game, link in the description below, and purchase power-ups or make a small donation in the game. It's a simple rising lava game with some unique elements and i add new updates and features all the time so check it out and let me know what you think all the support i've been receiving means the world to me thanks for watching see ya